Recently, I've seen a lot of comments in the forums and within the comments of my videos concern over how bookmarking works with Adobe Captivate. The idea behind bookmarking is that when your learners uh, start your training, they may decide to exit the course before it's completed. And in some instances, you would want them to be able to return to the exact same location as to where they left off. In other situations, you may not want them to do that, and you may want them to simply start the course again from the beginning. Uh, there are two situations here that you need to be aware of. So if you're working with a learning management system, you're going to actually find that within the Preferences window. So I'm going to open up my Preferences window. Alternatively, you can press Shift F8, and that's going to bring you to the Preferences window. We want to go down to the quiz and reporting subcategory and you'll see all this information about how to set up your course for uh, reporting purposes but down here at the bottom there's this button called advanced and if you click on advanced you'll see some options in here now in this particular case bookmarking is on by default and the reason you can tell is that the never send resume data option is unchecked. So in other words, it will send resume data and allow users to resume the course where they left off. If you want them to always start at the beginning, check off never send resume data and that will ensure that users will always have to start at the beginning. Then of course click on OK and OK to save that. Now there's one other circumstance where you might have bookmarking enabled and that's if you're using a table of contents and you're not using a learning management system. There is a feature built into the table of contents functionality allowing you to save a learner's progress when you're just simply storing the e-learning course on a regular web server. So if I go into the project drop-down menu and select table of contents, you'll see your table of contents here. We want to go into the settings section, and that's with this button down here, and you'll see an entry for self-paced learning. And what this means is that if a user exits the course with this checked off and returns to the same URL uh, from the same computer, of course, uh, and they, they will return and resume where they left off within that training. Now, if that's not the result that you're looking for and, and you would prefer to have them start from the very beginning each time they try to access the course, uncheck this option and click on OK and that will ensure that each time they launch your e-learning course they will be starting from the beginning. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.